Hi there. Today, I'll be showing you how to create a dreamy motion blur effect in Photoshop. This effect can add a lot of interest and movement to your images, and it's fairly easy to achieve. Here are a few things to consider before we get started. Firstly, it's important to make sure your subject is in focus. This will ensure that your motion blur effect looks intentional, rather than accidental. Additionally, Close-up shots tend to work best for this effect, as they allow you to really emphasize the movement in your image. Lastly, it's important to avoid any distracting background noise, as this can take away from the overall effect. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we'll do is select our image and convert it into a smart object. This allows us to make changes to the image without permanently altering the original file. Once we've done that, We'll go to the Filter menu and select Motion Blur. This will bring up a dialog box where we can adjust the settings for our blur effect. One important setting to note is the Angle option, which determines the direction of the blur. For this effect, we want the blur to happen horizontally, so we'll set the blur angle to zero. From there, we can adjust the distance and intensity of the blur to our liking. One great thing about working with smart objects is that we can update our filter settings at any time. So, if we decide we want to change the intensity of our blur later on, we can do that easily. Next, we'll select the filter mask and apply a gradient using the gradient tool. We want to use a black and white reflected gradient, which can be selected by clicking the fourth icon from the left side of the gradient tool menu. The gradient will be applied to the filter mask, and the distance of the gradient line will determine the area of the mask that is affected by the blur. Finally, we can play around with the gradient to achieve the desired effect. And voila! We've created a dreamy motion blur effect in Photoshop. Here's a before and after comparison. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow for more Photoshop tips and tricks.